Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I got huge news today. I'm here to tell you that I've been working with a manufacturer for a little under a year now, and I'm gonna bring you the most durable and long-lasting compression bits I've ever used. More on this in just a second. Let's go. Okay, quick disclaimer here. I'm just gonna to talk to you like you're here in the shop. I'm not gonna crazy edit this video. I'm not gonna shoot a bunch of glamor shots of things being cut. That's not the idea, but I'm here to tell you that I have, with the help of Southeast Tool Company, uh, based out of Marion, North Carolina, we have developed an eighth of an inch compression bit along with some, of course, everybody was carrying quarter inch compressions. And I've got actually a 90 degree V groove set. Now, real quick, Everything's gonna be on the website. I'm gonna link it down below, of course, uh, but you can get these individually a la carte, or you can get these as a kit. I'll put something on the screen now, kind of giving you a bit more information about them. So <clears throat> exactly what, what's happening here? Well, <laughs> over the course of these past almost two years, um, I've turned this YouTube channel into a products business that manufactures things for the maker. Basically, you don't feel like organizing everything up on your walls. Well, I got you covered from glue caddies to clamp racks to tool holders, even things to hold your tracks for your track saws. Um, and so over the past little while, I've realized that I could probably get more out of these bits. They weren't performing they're performing well, but I cut a lot of material. Uh, for example, um, this is a blank that I use on that penguin back there. This is a two by three foot blank of three quarters of an inch Russian birch, Baltic birch, whatever. Um, this is typical of some of the things that we cut on here. You can see that's a lot of cutting, right? That's a lot of passes. And uh, I got you one more example here as well. And yeah, so you get it, right? So I'm, I'm doing quite a bit more cutting than say your average hobbyist. So what I was, ha what I was finding with the previous bits I was using, I mean, the really, the really cheap ones from Amazon, the eighth inch shank, I was getting maybe one or two of these out of those and, and it was just dulling up and then it was worthless. Um, and a lot of the stuff I use uses box joints. So the tolerances have to be just right. Um, and basically what happens when a bit cuts through, I'll just give you a little uh, overview of kind of what happens in the degradation. Uh, the bit heats up as it goes through. Um, the edge starts to dullen because of the heat and you start to not take away as much material and it starts to become a rougher edge. Um, meaning if you have a tolerance, a really tight tolerance on a box joint, and I ran into this in the past and in in when I first started doing this, that my bits were getting dull pretty quickly and sometimes my box joints weren't fitting together properly. Um, if you've dealt with that in the past, I'm sorry, I don't think I have that issue anymore, uh, which I know I don't. But anyway, that's kind of was the, uh, the genesis of me saying, can, can I get a bit to perform better? Well, I got hooked up at some of these events, especially at IWF, um, with the CEO and owner of uh, Tool, uh, uh, Southeast Tool Company. And <clears throat> he's like, we're an industrial company, man. We, we manufacture massive bits and we have big customers all over the country and we supply industrial machines with router bits, not in the hobbyist market at all. Um, we started talking more and more. He said, well, let's, let's try to develop something. So we've come up with, I'll show you a few more pictures here. We've come up with an eighth of an inch compression bit. It's about an inch long. And at first he was just making it out of just high quality carbide and sending it over. And honestly, I was getting, yeah, I was getting probably four to five of these sheets without much degradation in quality. I was getting about four or five of those cut without any coatings whatsoever. Now, what exactly is a coating on a router bit? Well, again, look at these pictures. I'm gonna show you. The fact is, is what it's called, it's called a PVD, right? It's a physical vapor deposition. Pause the video here if you wanna read more about this. If not, let's keep on moving. And what that means is at the molecular level, they charge different particles. They charge this nano coating that adheres to the router bit, uh, almost like a powder coat. And when it's all said and done, we're talking, it's like one to two microns, if I'm even using the right terms. Again, I'm not an expert here. I'm just kind of trying to facilitate what they've told me. Uh, but it reduces friction. And the more friction you can reduce, the less heat you will cause. And the less heat that happens in the router bit cutting phase, the blade stays sharper longer. The edge stays sharper longer. So now I am actually getting, if something, if I'm cutting out these tool backs, um, it's, it's very possible I get double the amount of backs as I was before. So sometimes I can run through 12 sheets of this and not have much degradation, if any, on my cuts. Now again, I'm cutting a lot, but what's that mean for you? It means for you that these router bits will last really long. 
right? I don't know. I don't know. You may be a, you may be cutting as just as much as I do, and if you are, this is the way to go. So, all right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm excited to bring this to you. I'm calling them glimpse bits. They're gonna be in the description. They're on the website. This is a trial run. So if you're seeing this video and you're interested in this, you're gonna find that they're priced just a little bit lower than you might expect um, from the industry standard. And I'm doing that because, well, one, I can right now. And two, I really wanna get these into your hands. Now, the a la carte, the prices are the way they are. Again, I'll put everything on the screen here. Um, uh, I'm not gonna, uh, the prices are going to be on the website because I don't know. I can't say them now because they might change, but they're down there on the website or you can get a pretty significant discount if you buy a set of all three. Um, I don't know. I'm super excited to bring this to you guys. It's, it really is awesome. The, the coating that we, uh, we tested out finally um, really was super slick and I was getting some awesome results with it. So uh, yeah, and that, that's what this is. I can't believe I'm actually going to have a line of router bits out in the world. Um, I really want to see uh, this really be successful, and um, I hope you guys can uh, help me in this endeavor. I really want to help Southeast kind of branch into the, uh, the the hobbyist market, and because I think, I mean, I've never used I've never used a compression bit like this with this type of coating from any other manufacturer to last this long. It's just that simple. Okay, there it is. <laughs> So anyway, links are down below. I want to thank everyone for watching. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching this journey and uh, following to the end. And yeah, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is super exciting. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So not many left. I probably only got a total of maybe 40 or 50 router, router bits in total of what I'm offering. So if you want to get your hands on them, go quick. I'll see you later. Bye.